Hi, I'm Lori from Revision Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to use Twixter within After Effects. We're going to start with some simple speed changes. Okay, let's take a look at this clip here. This is my friend Jesse, and he came to race his car today, but he didn't really know what he was getting himself into. We're going to speed him up, slow him down, we're going to make him go backwards, we're going to do some frame rate conversions, and we're going to do all of that within Twixter. So let's get started. Take a look at the source material here. We have HDV, it's 1440 by 1080, and it's 2997 frames per second. We can see that After Effects is doing a great job of guessing which field is first by interpreting the footage, but if it didn't choose the right field, we can easily go in and interpret footage like this and manually change that to upper or lower field. I'm going to leave it on upper, say OK. And now the next thing we're going to do is start a new composition. We're going to do that by taking our source material and dragging it onto the new composition icon. And now we're going to add our Twixter plugin. So we go over here to Effects and Presets and type in Twixter and we can select it easily by double clicking on it or we could go to Effect and Revision Plugins and choose Twixter like that or we could come over here and do a right mouse click and go to Effect, Revision Plugins and Twixter like that. So you choose whichever way is most comfortable. And then we want to take a look at Twixter and the effects controls. Because Twixter does a great job with the default settings for a simple speed up, we only need to look at a few things. First is the display. The source shows the footage before retiming with Twixter, and the Twixter output shows the time remapped version. We also need to check the input fields. In this case, we need to change it to upper field first. This has to match whatever we set up in the After Effects project. We also have to check and make sure that the frame rate is correct. Here it is, 2997. So now the only thing we have left is to go ahead and make a speed change. So we're going to do that here where it says time remap mode. We can either use speed or frame number to do that. We're going to use speed in this lesson. So this is the speed percentage dialog box and this is where we enter the percentage we want to make this clip. So we're going to speed this shot up by uh, make it three times faster. So that would be 300%. We just go in and type 300 in the speed dialog box. And now we can take a look at our result. And we can see that it is stopping at frame 50. Hmm. We made this three times faster. It was 150 frames to begin with, and now it became 50 frames. That's because it's one third the length and it's three times faster. But why did it hold on frame 50? Well that's because Twixter isn't allowed to adjust the length of the final output clip so it just keeps repeating the last frame. In this case it's frame 50. But we can fix that by just going in here to the to the project to the composition settings and we just change it to 50 for the duration and now we're all good to go. All right, Jesse, we just made you three times faster and all within Twixter. Now we're going to do a simple slow motion effect. In this lesson, where the new duration has to become longer than the original and we learn that plugins are not allowed to alter the duration of the source material, we can manually change the duration of the resulting composition. Also, we need to pad the footage with an arbitrary length of blank frames. In After Effects, we call this a pre-comp. This allows the original footage to be faked like it's longer footage. This is how we do it. 
we take the source material which is a 150 frame clip it's HDV 1440 by 1080 and 29.97 frames per second we can see that After Effects has separated the fields correctly and chosen upper field first we saw in the speed up lesson how to change it if it isn't correct now we need to make our pre-comp we create a new sequence by dragging our source material to the new composition icon now we make the sequence longer by right mouse clicking and going to the composition settings. If we know the exact duration that we want our new composition or layer to be, we can enter that number now. We're just going to choose an arbitrary number that we know will be longer than the new duration. Let's enter 500 in the duration box. Let's name this composition Slow Mo Precomp. We can then put this precomp into another composition. Okay, so now you'll notice that this precomp is 500 frames, and we're going to take this precomp and drag it to the new composition icon and create another composition. And let's name this just slow mo. Now let's add Twixter to the padded precomp that is now included inside the new composition we just created. Just go to the effects and presets and type in Twixter. We could also use one of the other methods to add Twixter, like going to the effect menu or right mouse clicking. Now let's go ahead to the effects controls and take a look at the controls that we need for a simple slow motion effect. Again, the display as we saw in the previous lesson. The source shows the footage before retiming with Twixter, and the Twixter to output shows the time remapped version. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on Twixter to output. We also need to check the input fields and make sure it's on the correct field, in this case upper. Now check the frame rate and make sure it matches the footage, 29.97, and that's good. Now we can choose the type of remapping we want, speed or frame number. And in this lesson, we're, we will use speed. All we have to do is set the speed percentage. Let's consider what happens during a slowdown of a clip. If we know in advance that a 150 frame clip will be slowed down by five times, that would be a percentage of 20. And then the result would be 750 frames. A value of 50% would tell Twixter to play the clip half as fast as the original. We're going to make it two times slower which is half speed. So in the dialog box, I'm going to type in 50. OK. Here we go. Let's check out the result. So this clip started at 150 frames. It's now going to be 300 frames because it's double the length and it's going half the speed. So after 300, we're going to see blank frames or black frames, actually. If you just want to adjust the layer's length to match the length of the shot so there are no extra frames which are black, this is how you do it. And let's just drag the pre-comp to make it 300 frames. And you can see the duration changes over here. Or we can actually alter the length of the composition to be the length of the new shot. We go to uh, projects and go to composition settings and just enter the new duration of 300 here. And now the composition is going to be the length of the shot which is 300 frames. Alright Jesse, sorry but you'll never win a race going half as fast. This is how you do a simple slow motion effect in Twixter in After Effects.